a photo on my Instagram where I went from having short hair as I currently do to having really long locks. <laughs> now obviously these were extensions but I've had a whole bunch of questions on my Twitter asking about how I blended them so well and whether they're clip-ins or permanent so I thought today I would do a bit of a tutorial showing you guys my tips and tricks to clip-in hair extensions. So these are my clip-ins here. They are real hair and really high quality. And the great thing about clip-in hair extensions is that it's a lot healthier for your hair than those permanent extensions. I've actually tried them before and I noticed that with the permanent ones, I was getting little rips in my hair and it was just a bit too strenuous on the health of my actual hair. So these are perfect for when you're a little bit indecisive with hairstyles like me. So basically you can rock, you know, a short haircut like currently I've got a lot going which I love you know it's very on trend of the moment I feel really cool with it and for certain styles I really want to wear my hair short but then obviously there are some occasions like certain photo shoots or events where I just really want those long luscious locks and so for that clip-in hair extensions are perfect and it kind of means that your hair can be like a bit of an accessory now rather than just having the same thing day in day out the first thing I want to talk about with these is color now you have some seriously great options now when you buy clip-in hair extensions extensions there's even things like balayage colors or like ombre and lots of different tonal colors these ones however I actually had them dyed to match my current hair color so that's the great thing with real hair hair extensions is you can dye them to match your tone so that they blend perfectly so today I'm going to show you how I go from having a lob to having long hair and how to actually blend them so it's not like cringe obvious <laughs> you know sometimes you see people with like short hair and they've got hair extensions in and it just is so blatantly obvious so I'm gonna show you what I've done to minimize that effect and the trick behind it is how you place them and how you layer them okay so let's just get right into it right now this is the length of my hair it's looking a little bit like <clears throat> wimp wimpy limpy I don't know it's like I look a bit more like Snape right now than what I'm trying to achieve but bear with me because it will get there I'm gonna go for quite like a big wave glamorous Victoria's Secret style look so I'll show you how to actually style it as well so basically what I want to do this hair has just been freshly washed and I've put a little bit of root lifting spray into the roots and then blow dried it so that's all that's happened here and now I'm just going to separate really, really low towards the bottom here. Now keep that quite low because what's going to happen is you don't want these short bits to be too obvious when people look directly at you. So I actually want to bring a lot of that up into above the first hair extension, if you get what I mean. So I'm going to really just take out a little bit of the bottom there, as minimal as possible. And clip the rest of that up. Now I arrange my extensions in a very particular way and I always have them the same way. Now the reason for that is I cut them so that they layer in so that the difference between my hair and the hair extensions is not so obvious. So what happens when you first get your clip-in hair extensions is they're pretty much all the same length. And then what you're going to have to do to blend them, especially if you have short hair like this. See, this would look quite ridiculous if I just did that and then had that there. <laughs> it's like so blatantly obvious that I've just clipped something in there to create length. So what I've done with these is I've arranged them and I've put them in. When you put them in the first time, that's when you get them layered. So you get them cut perfectly to match your hair and to blend this in nicely. And then you kind of have to keep them that same placement all the time. So I go with one of these four clippy wide ones first. This is my starting point and I always put this one at the bottom and what I'm going to do is put a little bit of this quick tease 
it's like a backcombing spray it creates a bit of texture there because I want these to be really strong and not to be like falling out all over the place so just a few spritzes of that and then backcomb just the roots a little bit just to create some grip start with the two middle ones and place it really flush against your head there and then just clip it right in these ones will come above my ear a little bit to that side and try to have it not interfering with your ear otherwise it's going to be really uncomfortable So there we go, that's the first one in place and it's got really nice and strong, you can't really pull that out. <laughs> See, this is what it would look like if I didn't layer them all in. <laughs> it's really not what we're going for at all. <laughs> so the next step is to take a little bit more and really just a small amount. You wanna layer these very closely together. Clip that away. My next layer consists of two three clip hair extensions. So these ones are quite wide, they're going to kind of fill the side of my head and then overlap at the back, but they're going to be on the same layer of hair here. Now if you have a look at these, you can see that this side here is shorter than that side and that's because this has been layered and cut specifically to go on my right side here. So this is what I mean about placing them in the same place every time. I literally take them out and like lay them down and arrange them. I don't just like throw them in a drawer or something. So this is gonna be my right side. I can tell because that's shorter. Look at this. This one I'm gonna bring forward here. So it sits above my ear. It's gonna sit in a place here so that I can still do that. I still wanna be able to, you know, put my hair behind my ear easily. But I'm just gonna place it behind and above my ear there, so it gets really good coverage to the side. Same thing with the left side. There we go, that's starting to look pretty good. But not if I do this. <laughs> it's like a new age mullet. Short at the front, long at the back. <laughs> so weird. Okay, again, I'm gonna release a little bit of extra hair. And you can see the difference here where mine is, and obviously where the extensions are. Okay, now this layer is a little bit different. I'm gonna start at the back with one of these small ones here. Now this only has two clips, so this is so far the smallest extension. And I'm going to put that smack bang in the middle of the back of my hair. Then I'm going to use the even smaller ones, these little one clippers, <laughs> to fill out the sides and just place them where I feel like I need a little bit of the long hair. You can see here that there's a difference in length again. So this is me going nuts with my layering to blend it all in. And what I'm going to do is this one goes here and this one goes in front of it. And you can see there that will be actually quite a short layer there, but it's still slightly longer than my natural hair, which will just create that staggered effect and really hide the fact that I'm wearing extensions. Same thing on the other side. Every now and then I kind of run my hands through the top of my hair just to make sure that these bits aren't like awkwardly stuck into the clips of the extensions. You want to be able to have movement when you're out and about, be able to flick your hair and it just be very natural and easy going. So I'm onto my last layer here. I'm just going to separate that one. And for the top layer, I'm going to use the other wide extension. The reason I put this at the top is because right now my top layer has like lots of separate little bits. And the problem with these is when you're out and about, sometimes they can actually show through people's hair and stuff. So if you're, you know, sometimes your hair gets caught on these little things. So if you actually put this one on the top, you've got one smooth seam there and you're not gonna run the risk of those little top clippy bits showing through your hair. This will cover it. So that's like probably my biggest tip is to do one of the big ones at the bottom, one of the big ones at the top, just to close it all off and cover it all up. And I'm just gonna pop that in there. And that's it. Now the hair extensions are in. They're ready to go. If you want, sometimes even for extra 
protection from visibility, it's not the worst idea to go and grab the next little layer and just do a little bit of teasing with these little hairs above it. It'll create some extra volume, just a tiny bit. You don't want to go crazy with the back combing, but a little bit like that. And now I'm just going to show you how to quickly style this to get that big, bouncy Victoria's Secret look. I'm going to be using a wide curling iron. I normally have a bit of an affinity to using really small curling irons to get that really tight kind of beachy look. But with this look, I'm going a bit more glam. So for this, I'm using a 30 mil curling iron. I'm going to take that bottom layer and I'm going to go for three layers here. The bottom one can be pretty thick because um, I don't need it to be super super curly. Now I'm going to cut that in half whoop, and then half again. I'm using this first bit. Now the biggest hurdle that you're going to encounter if you have short hair is this. See that separation there? You're holding your hair here. You need to ensure that you firstly brush that all together when you're brushing with hair extensions in, hold it at the top like that, so you're not pulling them out. Hold and brush. Then you need to make sure that these curl at the same point as your hair curls. So really try and get that in there. See how that's flicking out? I need to cover that. Yes, here we go. And now I'm just gonna hold that there for like 10 seconds and keep doing that around my head. So you've got those bouncy curl there. I'm going to just leave those. I'm not even going to put any product in this at all. I think this look just looks way better and actually bounces nicer without any product. So I'm just going to do the same on the other side. Now with this hairstyle, I want to curl them all to the back because I'm going to brush it out afterwards. Okay, so I've done my bottom layer. Now I'm just going to release the top. Here's a trick. I know a lot of people pin them and stuff. Once I've curled them, I just put them to the front and I'm working with what's loose at the back. So I'm gonna take the top bit away and just work on the mid sort of section. Literally the exact same thing. Okay, so that is the bottom two layers done. That probably gives you a bit of a better view of what we're currently working with. So I haven't touched them at all. I'm going to go straight onto the top layer here. I do a middle part generally, but rough. So I'm just going to do that. And I kind of can just leave that separate there. And now, again, I cut it in half like that. So I've got the front bit and the back bit. Now with the fringy bit here, I just brush it down like this and then run this down and put it in an angle that feels right for you. So this for me feels good and I just kind of wrap it around there like that. Okay, so that is done. So I've just curled all the hair. I'm gonna let it cool down for a little minute, like honestly 60 seconds or so, just to let the curls set and then brush through it. Okay, that's like 10 seconds, but I'm too impatient. Let's do it. So here we go. I'm just going to gently, really gently brush through mainly these bottom pieces here. So you've got a bit more volume there. See the difference? And then brush all that together. And then same thing on the other side. Do a couple of flippity doodahs. Now, I would actually like a little bit of volume here towards the top of my hair. A little bit of grit, so I'm gonna put a little bit of this Batiste Double XL Volume Hairspray just above the extensions. I don't really want any product in them, but just up here. And now this is where I'm at. So that is done for me. I wouldn't do any more to that. 
Throughout the day, it kind of falls into an even more natural curl, but brushing it out really makes it look so voluptuous and beautiful. And yeah, I mean, I think that blends pretty well given how short my hair is now. You can see, that's my actual hair. <laughs> and I've gone from Snape to this. <laughs> so they're my tips and tricks for clip-in hair extensions when you've got quite short hair and it's a little bit difficult to blend. You just gotta layer it up, make sure that you match your color nicely. It's actually easier sometimes to get multi-tonal ones or like balayage ones which work really nicely. And then to keep them in the same positions and curl them up. I definitely couldn't pull this off with straight hair so it kind of has to have that wave in it. But for me, this is a really cool way to get some versatility with my look. There are certain times where I want the short lob because it's like really edgy and then sometimes I want this beautiful big hairstyle so for me this is fantastic I hope you guys like it do let me know your thoughts if you try out my little tips and tricks and also let me know what hair color you like on me because I'm obviously having a bit of trouble deciding <laughs> and I will see you guys next time